we are asked to simplify the given radical expressions. A radical expression is not considered simplified if there's a fraction under the radical or if there's a radical in the denominator. For our first example, we have the square root of 75 sixteenths. We should always check to see if the fraction will first simplify. In this case though, the only common factor between 75 and 16 is one, and therefore the fraction does not simplify. For the next step, we apply the radical property shown below, which states the x root of a over b equals the x root of a divided by the x root of b, as long as b doesn't equal zero, which means the square root of 75 sixteenths equals the square root of 75 divided by the square root of 16. And now we simplify the numerator and denominator separately. Because we have square roots, we are looking for perfect square factors of the radicands. 75 is equal to three times five times five. This shows 75 contains the perfect square factor of five times five, or 25. Looking at the denominator, 16 is a perfect square. 16 is equal to four times four. Let's write the square root of 16 as the square root of four times four. Again, because 16 equals four times four, this shows 16 is a perfect square. Before we simplify though, let's write this one more time using exponents. Let's write the numerator as the square root of three times five squared. Let's write the denominator as the square root of four squared. Well, the square root of five squared simplifies perfectly to one factor of five, and the square root of four squared simplifies perfectly to one factor of four, which means the expression simplifies to five square root three divided by four. Notice in this form, there is no longer a fraction under the square root, and there's also no square root in the denominator. The expression is now considered simplified. Next we have the cube root of 324 fourths. For the first step, let's see if this fraction will simplify. The greatest common factor between 324 and four is four, so to simplify, we will divide the numerator and denominator by four. This gives us the cube root of 324 divided by four is equal to 81, and of course four divided by four is equal to one, which means this simplifies to the cube root of 81. To simplify the cube root of 81, we look for perfect cube factors of 81. The prime factorization of 81 is four factors of three. Notice here we have a group of three equal factors of three. Using exponents, we can write this as the cube root of three cubed times three. And the cube root of three cubed simplifies perfectly to one factor of three. The simplified radical expression is three times the cube root of three. Notice the radical expression no longer contains a fraction under the radical or a radical in the denominator. I hope you found this helpful.